How you doing, everybody? My name is Monochromium, and welcome to the real final battle of Sword of Mana. This is a special bonus episode where I'm going to show you the true difficulty of the final boss, because originally, when I did this, I did it using the brownie ring, which was, you know, mostly so that I could get it done in a relatively short amount of time for the recording, but it also made the fight exorbitantly easy for me. So instead of that, at this point, I have the Cardinal Eye equipped to Elena here. First off, I'm using Elena, which means I'm using magic, which will make this more difficult, just plain and simple, like that. But I'm also using the Cardinal Eye, just so that that way I have a little more defense. Um, her mind stat really doesn't matter, because her defense is just that low to the point where I really need to use something with pretty high defense um, in order to make sure that I don't uh, get completely like gang banged by those king oxen in the beginning there so that's um, the only real preparation I made um, other than that right now I have the Nux equipped I have the crystal Nux equipped and I will be using the staff later on in the battle for a very specific reason as you shall see so um, this is uh, my first time recording in quite a while so it might be a little on the choppy side I'm gonna try to make it as interesting as possible though of course, if he just goes down without a fight in his first, like he did just in his first form, it's going to be not very interesting. Now for his second form, I actually want to do something very specific with this. I actually want to hit him after he does his fire attack, because he's more vulnerable to magic after he does his fire attack. So I'm going to wait until he does his fire attack, and then I'm actually going to hit him with some magic, because he's a little more vulnerable to it then, as you can see. Um, he's a little more vulnerable to it then, so I wanted to hit him then, so that, that way I could whittle his HP down a little bit quickly. I don't want to whittle it down too quickly, though, because he has a limit break in this form that not very many people know about. Um, so I actually want to show that off for my own, uh, for my audience here. You'll know he's doing the limit break when he starts, um, glowing with a dark black aura. I think, I think that's good on HP. I think he starts using it when he's down to like 25% of his max HP, which I think I've gotten him to at this point. There it is, right there. I guess I don't have to worry about talking about a bunch of other stuff after this now. Well, that was much easier than it was when I did this on a test. When I tested this, it took me like five minutes for him to uh, do whatever this is called. It's Limited Moon from Final Fantasy VII! Not really. I don't know what this is called. All I know is that it does a buttload of damage to you. It's uh, a percentage of your max HP. I believe it's like half your max HP. Which is pretty devastating. He also heals himself for that amount afterwards, but that's not really going to matter because I'm using magic, so I can just go like this. Oh, okay, I guess he wasn't as vulnerable there. Um, but once he becomes vulnerable, I will just use that on him, and then we'll just uh, finish this fight up relatively quickly, hopefully because I do want to get to the third form pretty soon so I can show off that form's uh, magic as well. So basically, um, since I'm kind of waiting now... Um, well, actually, let me, let me just judge by... Oh, oh, boy. Here we go. Tornado! Everyone run! There we go. Second form down. I guess I don't have to talk about stuff. Um... One thing that I'm thinking about doing for my next LP, for the Kingdom Hearts LP, and for any of the side LPs that I do, is I'm thinking about actually reading the text using like the different accents, because when I did accents in the um, sort of mana playthrough, people seem to enjoy it um, a fair, fairly good amount, especially a certain someone with my uh, grandma voice, old lady voice, whatever you want to call it. But um, if you guys want me to read the text, let me know. That's probably what I'm going to do. Um, anyway to start with uh, if I don't get enough feedback on it but if you really want me to leave the text and uh, let me pause to let you read the text then I'll do that but I, th I think it'll bring a little more life to everything if I talk over if I talk like if there's if there actually are voice actors speaking the lines I'm not gonna talk um, their lines for them I'll add my own input to it on the side kinda like I did for the James Bond playthrough but um, Otherwise, like if they're speaking in text like they are on Sword of Mana right now, I would just, um, you know, I would read out what they're saying, and then I would make my reactions after I'm done. Because 
for the most part, when there's text like that on the screen, you can advance it at will, like this. Like, I'm pressing the button, and I can advance the text. So, um, I would read it, and I would make my reaction, and then I would worry about, um, and then I would worry about scrolling to the next set of text. It might slow things down a little bit, but, um, I, I think it's a good strategy. Well, not really a strategy, it's more of a uh, technique for this whole thing. And I think it'll make things a little more interesting. Of course, it's going to lead to me uh, losing my voice several times over the course of the LPs, but eh, that's that's a general side effect that I'm going to have to get used to at this point. Okay, so for the third form, I actually want to equip the staff because of the fact that if you look at the stats on the staff, it actually has 50 elemental power, which right now that's the only thing I really care about is having high elemental power because as you can see, the crystal knocks while better on everything else don't have the elemental power that the Dark Staff has. So, I want to keep the Dark Staff on so that I have the access to the 50 elemental power, and then I just basically want to go all out on Julius when he becomes um, vulnerable to magic, which he is right now. But, um, the other thing about this is that the Staff actually has better targeting properties than the Nux for this fight, because when you're controlling it manually, it's kind of a little more difficult to get it to stick than if you were doing it otherwise. But, um, because I'm using the staff, it's a little bit easier. Oh, don't tell me he's going to use his limit break. Okay, I guess not. I was going to say, if he's going to use that uh, rush technique that he does, that would be kind of bad. Um, but I do want to show off his limit break at some point. Hopefully I don't kill him before he uses Meteor, even though I... Did he use it in the final episode of my LP? I, I haven't watched it in a while. So I'm kind of stuck not knowing at this point. Well, I'll make sure he shows it off anyway. This fight's going to be long. I mean, he has 1,500 HP, but as you can see, I've already dealt, like... I mean, I've dealt 700 dish damage to him, but as long as he remains in this orange aura, I can only do one damage to him, so... That's not good. Ah, oh, I missed. Come on, hit him. Hit him. There you go, Elena. I knew you could do it. So anyway... Um, while we're waiting around for him to do something more interesting than just floating around the screen uh, and uh, aggravating me... Oh, hello! Here he goes. He's going a little quicker now. Well, anyway, um, I just wanted to let you guys know about how everything's going to go uh, on the channel from now on. Um, because I'm going to be doing my LPs not necessarily any differently than I've been doing them, but um, I'm going to be doing them a little, like, a little bit, well, I guess you could say a little bit differently. Um, I'm gonna do, I'm still gonna do full LP episodes, kind of like, uh, how I did Sword of Mana. I'm gonna try to get all of the episodes uploaded daily for the full LPs. So, the next full LP that I'm gonna be doing is Kingdom Hearts, and then after that, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. So, I'll be uploading episodes of that daily. And then, from there, I'll be uh, doing side LPs as well. So the side LP, Sonic Colors got moved to the side LP because it's more of a game for a side LP because it's not going to take very many episodes to take care of it. Um, come on, use your limit break. <laughs> um, so I moved it to the side LP so that that way I can actually um, do it at my leisure. So what I'll do is the full LPs, I'll be recording in like 15 to 20 minute chunks. Where I'll just record those and they'll have, uh, the episodes will have definitive endings and everything like that. And then there will be uh, definitive, uh, you know, beginnings and endings to them. They won't be like uh, chunked from other episodes and like segmented from other episodes or anything like that. Like how I did in the Sword of Mana LP when I did it. I swear to God, he's in love with this stupid whatever. Ouch. Okay, so um, they'll like have definitive beginnings and endings, and I'll make sure to note them like when I do it. Oh, there goes Meteor. This is gonna hurt a lot. I'm glad I kept my HP up. Um, but for the side LPs, what I'm gonna be doing... I love how I'm talking so nonchalantly while he's creating a giant spirit bomb like meteor and throwing it straight at me um, so for the side LPs since I'll be doing them at my leisure I'll record them in you know hour or two hour long things depending on how much I want to play them and then I'll edit them and upload them 
um, at my leisure. So that means they might get done quicker than the regular LP, ouch. They might get done slower than the regular LP, it really depends on how I'm working. I hope I don't kill him. Okay, I'm not gonna kill him yet. Whoa! I want to kill him with uh, the 8 spirit hit attack, which I think he's down to enough, uh, low enough HP to where I can kill him with it. Hopefully I'll be able to kill him with it. If not, well, I tried. I'm just gonna have to charge it up, that's all. Oh god. Oh man, I got hit by it. So, that's basically how things are gonna work from now on. Um, I hope that you guys don't mind that I do it this way. I just think it'll be a little bit easier um, for my own workload schedule because I do have um, pretty much a full-time job now in the sum this summer. And then when I go back to school, I'll be doing school and a part-time job, so that'll be, that'll be an experience, I'll say that much. Um, but uh, hopefully you guys will don't mind that I'm doing it this way. I think it'll be fine. I don't think it'll make any difference. But, um, yeah, we'll see how things go. Oh, come on. Use your magic shield so I can unleash the sacred light. There you go! Here, you, here have some of this. Let's see if I finish him. If not, then... Well, I tried. Ah! Oh, I was... I was anticipating it. Man. Well, I tried, guys. I really did. Unfortunately, it didn't work, and now I'm going to get meteors in my face. Great. Just what I wanted. Meteos! They're like SpaghettiOs, except you die! Well, Duke's already dead, so he doesn't have to suffer the, uh extreme excruciating pain that he's going to put Elena through by doing this. Um, hopefully, I I'm thinking, because what I'm going to do with the intro for this episode, since I'm waiting for Julius to come back down while I'm healing up here, um, hopefully what I'm going to do for the uh, episode here is, for the intro, I'm actually going to do, like, something a little bit different with the intro. Like, I'm going to show kind of montage-like clips for it. Aw, uh, he was one hit away! Come on! Whatever. I'm gonna show montage-like clips to show the part, some parts of the ending that are a little bit different with Elena. But otherwise, the ending is pretty much all the same for both Duke and Elena from here on out. It's just a matter of getting there. So, since I'm all done with that, I beat him without the brownie ring, so uh, I made it a little bit harder for myself, but still... I mean, as long as you can uh, heal yourself up uh, back to full HP after his limit breaks, and you don't uh, and you don't keep poison on for too long, you should be fine. So that's all I feel like doing with Sword of Mana. I may come back to it at some point, someday, to show off all of the eight uh, eight spirit hit attacks. But I really don't think that's worth it. There are videos on YouTube to show these things. So um, I think that's all for. Uh, Let's play Sword of Mana. I don't know if it's really a let's play because I don't know if anybody who's playing along with me, but I'm sure in the future someone will have done that. So now all that's left is the James Bond 007 Nightfire episode. I won't be doing a death montage in the traditional sense for that one, at least the way that I originally planned for it. But um, if you want to know how that whole thing is going to work, you'll have to find out in that episode. The bonus episode, that is. So... Thanks for watching, everybody. Julius will not be coming back anytime soon, thankfully. And I'll see you next time. Take care. You know, as this Let's Play comes to a close, I look back and I realize that I filled a lot of loopholes through this whole uh, game that I played. I, I mean, I made a lot of things clear that I didn't think were very clear the first time I played through it, so... and I'm proud of that, but... there's one question that still remains in my mind as I look back on everything now, now that it's over. And that is... what the hell happened to Gormand? I mean... he, like, helped us to get to the sealed cave, and then he pretty much just disappeared from view for... until, you know, he was just waiting for... Um, us to do the final battle so that he could find out whose soul he was going to take and he was going to earn their power. And now Julius is dead and... Wait a minute. 
Oh, shit!